Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Linux Solidity. So in this particular video, we'll talk about imports and libraries. Now, I'll create a folder here. I just name this libraries. This will be the root of our library. And in this folder, I'll create two files. One will be our library and one will be our contract or make use of this library. Okay. Let's call the library library. Oh, math library and um, the contracts let's just call the contract in contract all right I'll just add this right one so you see 0.6.8 copy this to the main contract also Okay, so what is a library? A library in Solidity is a different type of smart contract. It contains reusable code, and um, once it's deployed to the blockchain, all other contracts can make use of this library. How do we create this library? We've created two files, one our contract that makes use of the library and one the library. But then how do we define a library? To define a library, you make use of the library keyword, just like a contract by service time is the library keyword you make use of. And then this library will have a name we'll called this math. Okay, so now we've created a library which can start adding functions to this library. So we'll add a function since the math library or we'll add an additional fun addition function, and this should be a and b that's two numbers, and we'll make it internal. It should return a unit. It should just return a plus b. We'll create a subtraction function also, basically the same. I'll name the sub. But instead, it should return the opposite. So we've created our library, and now next thing is to make use of this library. To make use of this library, we we'll go to our main contract, and this library is not in the same file as our main contract, so we can't just simply call this library, which is where import comes in. Import is a solidity keyword used to import files you can also import files from github so to import um, our library we have to make use of the import keyword and then you use um double quotes here is where you specify the path to the um, file you're trying to import we'll make use of the libraries libraries Alright, so now we've imported this library to our smart contract. Now what we have to do is create our contract. Create a contract. We call this main contract. Yes. We will test our library, the functions of our library. So let's call this. Now adjust it. We'll make this public. We should return also a uint. Create some variables here, some local variable. A. We can call the library itself, which is the math library, and then using the dot notation, we can call a particular function. We call the add function. And then we can pass in A and B. Okay, what's happening? Our library is named math, not math library. So just like this. Oh, I should just name it math library. All right. So now we've um we'll return the addition of this number. Let's try the plane. And let's also create another function for our subtraction. What is the first? And it should be so. You can see we have the math library and contract. We are deploying the contract. We can see the two functions. If you add some, the output is 29. And if you do the difference, the output should be 9. Yeah. 
but there's another way to make use of libraries and uh, right now we are inputting the library's name first then using the dot notation to um, get our functions using then the library you want to make use of I'm using math, math library I'm using it for you in what this does is it adds all the library's functions as member method to the uint data type. So instead of you doing math library dot add, then the two numbers you're trying to add, you could simply do this a dot add and um, b. This add function is now a member of uint. So a can call this add function. B can also all uint can call this add function. And calling the add function instead of passing two elements a becomes the first uh, parameter and b becomes the second parameter so um let's just open okay so a becomes this first parameter and b becomes the second parameter a is now the one calling the add attributes so by default a becomes the first value here and we just have to pass in the other value which is b so that's a, another way of using libraries. What happens if our code is, let's say, uint8. The code also breaks because we said it's for just uint. Uh, to fix this, we can make, we can make this library to be for all data type. So using this, you can make this library for all data type, meaning even strings also, even strings also can have this variable, which will give us an error because strings can add numbers to it. I will just leave this to our uint. And um, here also, we'll do the same. A dot sub. And we'll sum this. You see, we still get desired results. And also, if we find the difference, we still get the correct results. So that's it on my video on imports and libraries. So. Thumbs up this video if you did like it and thumbs down if you didn't. If you have any questions, leave in the comment section below. And also, feel free to comment below improvements you would love to see on this channel. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in another YouTube video.